Hello, this is the second homework of the data science. In this homework, we are going to do lab 3.2 exploring data from AVS Academy. In this lab, you will examine the data loaded from the vertebral column data set that you downloaded in the previous lab. Objectives after completing this lab, you will be able to explore and display statistics by using pandas. Use charts to explore data characteristics and AWS service not used in this lab. In this environment, AVS services that are not used in this lab are disabled. In addition, the cap capabilities of the service that are used in this lab are limited to what the lab requires. Expect errors when you access the service or perform actions beyond the ones that are providing in this lab. Okay, accessing the AVS management console. Okay, we are just starting the launch lab and yes, okay, first starting the lab. Then we are going to dive into AWS. And if, if a new browser tab does not open, there will typically be a banner or icon at the top of the browser that is okay, it's opened. And I'm um, clicking the AWS. Uh, okay, to look out, click here. It does no, not it opened. Okay. Okay. The b because the lab is not still opened. That is the reason for my error. I'm waiting for it still. And let me stop the recording. After it started, I will restart the recording. Yeah, okay, my lab status is ready. And let's click the AWS. Okay, and as I started, Start so lab panel chosen by X. At the top of the instruction, choose AWS. This will be AWS manager clause. In a new browser tab, the system will automatically log you in. And accessing a notebook instance in Amazon SageMaker, in this task, you will open your Jupyter Lab environment and switch to the notebook to complete the lab. To open Jupyter Lab, okay, there's a instruction in here. I'm going to SageMaker. Yeah, I click the SageMaker from the top menu, expand the notebook section, and choose notebook instance. And notebook, notebook instances. Okay, in service, my notebook. And look for the notebook instance, name it my notebook. Open Jupyter Lab notebook instance by going end of the row choosing open Jupyter. Okay, I'm clicking Jupyter Lab. And task two, opening a notebook in your notebook instance. In this task you will task you will open the notebook for this lab. Uh, go file left panel locate the 3.2 machine learning. Okay. And oh, not sorry. Here name oh name is three point two machine learning. Let me check where's it. It must have start with three, I guess. Or did they change the name? I cannot find it. Uh, there's lessons. Is it in here? No, not in here. Okay, I couldn't find. Okay. 
did I miss over it? This movie is starting with A, okay. Um, okay, let me even get up. And I will try to make it 3.2. Not all of them is in here, I guess. Okay, let me here. Left panel locate the tree file open and ask three points. Yeah, this is three true by the way. And okay, <clears throat> can I see from here? Okay, I will stop recording and I will find it. Where is it? Where is the location of it? Then I will restart open it. Okay, I stopped to I start the recording and before I forget a little bit I found the 3.2 in here in behind the N and United States there is a machine learnings and this is about the introducing the business scenario you work for a healthcare provider and want to improve the detection of abnormalities in orthopedic patients you are tasked with solving this problem by using machine learning. You have access to a dataset that contains six biomechanical features and targets of normal or abnormal. You can use the dataset to train a machine learning model to predict if a patient will have, ab have an abnormality. About giving some information about the dataset and giving some information about attributes. And the lab setups in we are actually running these parts I already did and let me run it we can see the shape numbers and let's check the columns in indexes yeah let's check data types the all of them yeah okay we have a one class and one, two, three, four, five, six attributes inside of it, and all of them is float. Okay, in pelvic, there's an examples. The there's a example count is three point ten, three ten, and standard is seventeen. And uh, there's Oh, actually, on that distribution, this is the mean is 60, mean minimum is 26, and max is 129. And uh, that try updating the codes in the previous cell to view the statics of all the features, which features have outliers that you might want to examine. That's on the has six features. You can display the status of each feature by running describe on the entire data fry frame. And let me see the describe one. Okay, and let's visualize it. Like by uh what well, it's not run. Okay, why I don't have any visualization in here? I don't yeah, okay, it's opened now. In here, degree of symptoms is in here. Okay, okay, it's run it now. It just worked wrong. Late, actually. Let me run all of them one by one. Okay, probably there's a latency in here. Yeah, okay. I've run all of them. The pilots and examples. And pilot of the 
highlight the distribution of the values for each feature by using a density or kernel density estimate pilot. And we can see the visualization standouts. And there's the degrees, and this is the outliers. And okay, well, it is not run yet. Okay, pass. Yeah, okay. <coughs> Flight security, and there's still the outliers in here, as we can see in here. And we can see the other types of the visualization. Uh, you have completed the step and you can now end by following the lab good instructions and coming to here conclusion examine the structure of dataset by using pandas we will statistics with pandas and matplotlib look at for correlation correlation between features in a dataset and thanks for the listening i'm finishing the end lab now have a good day